And in business, with the rise in the spread of coronavirus globally and the virus being declared a global pandemic, countries have since felt the impact on its health sector. The Lagos Chamber of Commerce and Industry held a forum on the impact of the virus. We have in the studio Plus TV Africa business correspondent Irene Ubani. Thank you, Irene, for joining us on News on Hour this Thank morning. Thank you. Thank you, Benyak. Do we see a recession on the way? Uh, that's a tough one. Okay. In terms of, because this virus is man-made and not compared to the other recessions that we've seen, the previous one in 2007 was the mortgage crisis that led to the uh, global recession. And then the second was, you know, the stock market's crash. However, this is a virus, so you really, the underlying fundamentals that would usually, you know, bring about an apparent recession, you know, that's not what we're seeing. This is a virus that's affecting people and, effect, and in effect, affecting, you know, commodity markets and then, you know, human activities worldwide. And as you may know, some businesses will be affected more than the others. Stock market, as you know, is usually pushed, the either rise or fall of the stock market is usually pushed by news. So you see that when someone like Donald Trump comes out to say that, which is what he has done, comes out to say that they are, you know, going to bring about a $1 trillion uh, so stimulus to curb the impact of the coronavirus right. on the economy. You see that stock markets, the US dollar as of yesterday went up. So, and then online businesses would not be so much so affected because a lot of transactions that are being done are online. Yeah. But you see things like, say, the Uber driver out there who, if you don't come out to work, then you would not make money. People like that will be more affected. So there are some sectors that would, you know, get more affected than the others. So in terms of it being a recession, I can't really say as of now. Now, now how, how is the market reacting to this? All right, uh, so let's start from the local market, Nigeria, where we are. As I yesterday, the stock market was down 0.71%. In Australia, we saw that um, the Nikkei, the HSI, they were down. But in the U.S., moving across the U.S. now, we saw that because of, you know, the announcement made by Donald Trump, the U.S. dollar was up. So, yeah, basically, news is what is driving the economy. Right. Now, just markets. away from this a little bit, now, you were at an event yesterday. I mean, you, know, you want to tell us what, what the core of that event was all about? Okay, so we focused on three major areas in terms of um, how the coronavirus would impact the economy. We focused on the social sector, we focused on health, and we focused on um, the business angle. Now, we had a um, conversation about around the best case scenario, worst case scenario, and average case scenario. So in terms of the health and social sector bits, we know that we need to curb, nip, at, nip it at the bud so that uh, we do not overwhelm our health sector, whereby we're not able to contain. I mean, we have three cases, and the first two cases that were discovered early enough, our uh, health system was able to contain, but we don't want an explosion where we cannot manage the system. Yes. And in the business sector as well, um, the private sector, they are yet to really stabilize on how to manage um, this particular situation. Yeah, so we're just going businesses. to actually that. Are mm. they, are the private business, the private sectors, are they really ready for all of these scenarios? To be honest, out? I spoke with um, a partner at KPMG yesterday and he said to me, no, they are not. Some businesses that already have structures put in place are telling their workers to start working from home. And as you may know, not all businesses are structured for such, um, you know, response yes. to a situation like this in a case where it comes, um, it blows out of our control. So to be honest, the private sector, not all of them are ready for, you know, the worst case scenario. Irene Bally, thank you for joining us on News thank on the Hour and for your contribution. Thank you.